may please you, God. Oh, God, we just want to please you, Lord. We come to please you, Father, and, and not men, Father. We come to please you, God. We come, God. We are the sacrifice, Father. We come to lay ourselves, God. We come to lay ourselves down at the altar, God. Hallelujah. Father, we are the sacrifice, Father. We are the plan, Father, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, God. We are the great women of God. Father, we bless you, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Father, we bless you, God. And we can rise up as Esther and say, for you have called us at such a time as this, Father. Hallelujah. But you had called us at such a time as this, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In spite of, Father, what we went through, God. In spite of the, the heartbreaks, Father. In spite of the rejection, God. We're still standing, God. In spite of the being violated as young girls, God. We're still standing, Father, by your strength, God. In spite of, God. Hallelujah being raised with, with no fathers, God. We're still standing, God, by your power, by your strength, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, God. Hallelujah, God. You're giving us your strength to press, Lord. You're giving us your strength, Father, to birth, God, this, what you have inside of us, Father. And God, and we decree and declare, God, that Lord, what we have in us, Father, is don't going, to, going to be stirred up, Father, on this night, God. And, Father, we choose to press in your presence, Father. We choose to push, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. And so what we have in us, God, comes out, God, in the name of Jesus, God. But we should not stop, oh, God, so these seeds that you have inside of us, God, come out, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will not give in, God. But we will be the women and the men that you called us to be, God. Women of virtue, God. Women of integrity, God. We shall be, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God. We should not be bitter, God. Hallelujah. We should not be bitter women, God. Angry women, God. We should not be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we should be women that nurtures God. Hallelujah, God. We should be mothers, God, that show the younger women how to be women, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Shake us, God. Shake us, God. Shake us, God. Shake us, God, the women, God. There's, there's so much you have in us, God. Shake us, God. Shake us, Lord. Shake us, God. Shake us, Father, so we wake up, God. Shake us, God. Hallelujah. You're calling us to step out, God. You're calling us to step out, God. To step out, Father. To step into the unknown, God. Hallelujah. For we walk by faith and not by sight, God. Hallelujah, God. You're calling us to step out in the waters. So, God, we choose to step out, God. Hallelujah. 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 No longer will we be counted as an option, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us to see, God, our work, God. In the name of Jesus, help us to see our work, God. Father, but we won't settle. Father, we're settling. God, we're settling, God. We're settling, God. We're settling, God. But God, help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, God. We come before you broken, God. Help us, God. You're not calling us to be gossipers, Father, backbiters, Father. God, help us, God. Father, tame our tongues, God. Tame, tame our tongues, God. That we lift our sisters up, God. That we cover them, God. 
we cover our sister, God. We won't expose our sisters, God, but we cover, we cover each other, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. Help us to join together as one, God. Oh, we're better, God, when we work together. We're better, God. We're better. We're better, God. Oh, God, help us, God. It's so much competition, Father, amongst the women, God. So many copycats, God, but you're calling us to be the original, God. There's, there's nobody, God. There's nobody, God. God, you, you formed us. You knitted us, God, the, the way that you did for a purpose, God. God, we don't have time, God, to try to be like somebody else, God. When you created us, God, perfectly, God. When you marked us, God, with your love, Father. Where you have given us, God, the personalities that you have given us, God. So, God, help us to be content, God, with what you have blessed us with, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Help us to love one another, God. Help us to yoke together, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, that we be welling women, God. Oh, God, who is welling, God? Who is welling? Who is crying out, God? Who is crying out, God? Help us, God. We humble ourselves before you, Father. God, we say we're broken. God, we're broken. God, we're broken. God, we're, we're broken. God, we're allowing the enemy to come in and deceive us. God, we're, we're broken. God, hallelujah. God, we're falling in the same trap as Eve. God, when the enemy is coming in and deceiving us. God, Lord God, but how it look on the outside, God, but everything that glitter ain't gold, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, we take our rightful place, God, in the kingdom of God. We take our rightful place, Father, in the name of Jesus. We will not settle, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we bless you, God. We will rise up and be the mighty women that you are calling us to be, Father. At this time, Father, at this hour, God, in the name of Jesus, God, that we have the mind as Esther to say, if I perish, let me perish. But I'm going to the king. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, women that have laid down our life on the behalf of countries and nations, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Selfless women and men of God. Selfless, God. Selfless women, God. We should not be selfish, but we should be selfless, God. Hallelujah. Esteeming one another. Esteeming one another, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. We decree and declare in this place, Father, every yoke destroyed, God. Every woman, God, that's carrying unforgiveness, God. God, give them the grace to forgive, God. Give them the grace to forgive, God. That, that person, God, that, that violated them, God, give them the grace to forgive, God. Father, you did it for me, God. God, in this place, God. Loose your women, God, loose the mind, God, of the women, God, loose your hold, enemy, loose your hold, loose your hold off of the minds of the women of God, loose your hold, loose your hold off of the hearts, in the name of Jesus, loose your hold, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh God, we evict Father. God, everything, Father, to shrine, Father, to take residence in us, God, that's not of you, God. We evicted in the name of Jesus. We evict depression, Father. We evict, Father. We evict stress, God, in the name of Jesus. We evicted, God, unforgiveness. We evicted, God, bitterness, God. We evicted, God, that you cannot dwell here. Competition and jealousy, God. Hallelujah, God. We lay it at the altar, Father. We lay it at the altar, Lord. 
God, only you can fix us, God. God, you see the hurt, God. You see the pain. God, you see the pain, God. But God, only you can heal us. A, a man can't do it, God. Only you can, God. Only you can, God. Only you can, Father. So, Father, step in. Step in, Lord. Step in, God. Step in every woman and every man in this place, God. In the name of Jesus. Have your way in our life, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way, your way. Have your way, God. God, have your way, God. Have your way, Lord. We've been made for a night. Hey, but joy, but joy coming in the morning, God. Hallelujah, God. Trouble don't last always. We would have faith in God if we didn't believe of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. We believe in your goodness, God. We believe in the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So we choose to stand in spite of what we face, God. In spite of what we're going through, God, we choose to stand as the women and the men of God. Hallelujah, God. And we will do, God, what you're calling us to do at this time and at this hour. And we thank you, Lord, and we ask you all these things in Jesus. Worthy of the 
our minds. We knew our mind. We want a mind like you, Lord. A mind like you, Lord. A mind like you, Lord. Hey. Renew our mind. Renew our mind, God. Renew our mind. Renew our mind, God. Renew our mind. Renew our mind, God. We want a mind like you. We want a mind like yours. 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 Create us anew. 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 Mind like yours. Mind like yours. She. The Bible declares that whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Does anybody need to be saved tonight? Does anybody have a loved one that needs to be saved tonight? Can we just call on the name of Jesus? Can we just call on the name of Jesus? I said, can we just call on the name of Jesus? Jehovah, Yahweh. Jesus, we need you. 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 Jesus, we need you.
glory. Yeah. We give you the praise. Yeah. We give you glory. And we give you the praise. Yeah. We set our mind on only you tonight. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, God. Yeah. The lover of our soul. We set our mind to only you. Jesus. Jesus. Sweet yeah. Jesus. You are the lily of the valley. You are the bright and morning star. Sweet Jesus. Yeah. Sweet Jesus. Yeah. We will wait on you tonight. We will wait on you tonight oh we will wait we will wait on you tonight oh shadabaha king of glory lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle take your entrance here oh god be under the hosha inhabit our praises live in our praises tonight oh god we create a praise offering for you and only you receive our praise oh bread of heaven feed us feed us feed us tonight until we want no more oh god until we overflow in our families until we overflow in our communities until we overflow on our jobs feed us tonight oh god Adabahasha, so we can be the change that we want to see in the name of Jesus. We give a bashi under the Lobohoya. We give you glory tonight, oh Father. Father, we thank you tonight and we praise you. And we call out these mothers that are losing their sons to violence, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray and I decree and declare that the enemy will not have their mind, oh Father, but they, are, they will have the mind of Christ and the peace of God will rule their heart in their mind in the name of Jesus. Father, we bind up the spirit of depression and oppression in the name of Jesus. Oh God, destroy every yoke in the name of Jesus. Bind every generational curse, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God, turn their mourning into dancing in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift you up. And as we lift you up, Father, we pray that you will draw all men unto you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor, oh God. And we bless your name. Come on, open up your mouth. Oh God. Oh, no, 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 Hallelujah, 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 to praise God so that the anointing goes to the crack house. Yeah. I want us to worship God so yeah, yeah, yeah. that the same anointing goes to the hospital. Yeah. I want to praise God so that this same anointing hits the prostitute tonight. Yes. Yeah. I know it's just a few of us here, but it's enough yeah. power. Yeah. The Bible said he sent yeah. the word and it healed them. Can we open up ourselves enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, can we press hey, in hey, enough? Hey, 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 this hey, praise hey, isn't about hey, you. Job was, Job was turned over when he prayed for his enemies. Somebody begin to open up your mouth and give God glory. We love you tonight, Jesus. We bless you tonight. We lift up your name. Hey, 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 and we lift up a Bahasha. 
For the Lord is our light and our salvation. Yes. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the strength of our life. And whom shall we be afraid? Tell your neighbor, you have no reason to fear. The Lord is your light. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We honor your name. And we cast away all fear, all doubt, all procrastination. We shake it off of us. Come on, just shake it off. Brush it off, brush it off of you. Hey, you will be what God has called you to be. And you will do what God has designed you to do. Hallelujah. Cheese.
Because you are a way maker. You're a miracle worker. You never lie. You are a promise keeper. That is who you are to us, Father. And we just want to declare your name today to be great in heaven and on earth. You are the mighty God. Angels bow before you. Heaven and earth adore you. What a mighty God we serve. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, rearranging destiny. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, turning lives around, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, performing miracles. I worship you, I worship you, we call you way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, we call you way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, moving in our midst, saying I worship, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, Mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Performing miracles. I worship you. I worship you. Come on. Hey. We call you way make miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. That is who you are. Come on, we call you way make miracle work.
You mend the broken heart. You're the answer to it all. Hey, Jesus. You wipe away all tears. You're the mender of the broken heart. You're the answer to it all. Jesus. Oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to you. Victory belongs yeah. to you. Yeah. So victory belongs to me. Yeah. Oh, because victory belongs to him. Oh, victory belongs to me. Come on, say, victory belongs, victory belongs to, him. to him. So victory belongs, victory belongs to, me. to me. And every situation, victory, yeah. victory belongs to, to him. So victory belongs, victory belongs. Somebody give God a victorious praise in this house. Oh, come on, somebody shout the victory. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. The Bible says, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto the Lord with the voice of triumph. Somebody shout. I can shout from the mountaintop. Thank you, Lord, for your life, Jesus. Thank you for your blood that was shed for me, God. Thank you, oh God, for raising up on the third day, God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's a good place to shout right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel you, God, now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Somebody got a reason to give God praise today. Somebody got a reason to give God some glory today. I gotta give Him a glory.
been waiting for this night all week long. And I got to give you the glory, Jesus. Hey. God, we give you the glory. God, we give you the glory. God, we give you the glory, Jesus. Shout for victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Glory to your name, Father. Glory to your name, oh God. Who Who can stand against my God? Who can stand against our King? Who can be big and bad enough to stand against my God? Nobody can. Nobody will! Nobody can! Nobody will! Nobody will! Nobody will! Nobody will! Prima mamma say! Prima mamma mosi Italia! Prima no 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 Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. Blessings and honor and glory belongs to you, Jesus. Blessings and glory and honor belongs to you, Jesus. Blessings and glory and honor belongs to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Victory, blessings, glory, and honor belongs to you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, we give you the glory, Jesus. God, we give you the glory. Thank you, Father, for who you are. For who you are, Jesus. For who you are, God. For who you are, Jesus. And who you'll always be. Who you are, God. And who you'll always be, my deliverer. Who you are. Who you are, God. Is who you are, Jesus. And who you are is who you'll always be. Consistent. Who you are is who you are, God. And who you are is who you'll always be. Why maker? Who you are is who you are, God. And who you are is who you'll always be. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jehovah is who you are. Is who you are. And who you are is who you always be. Jehovah Adonai is who you are. It's who you are, God. It's who you are. It's who you always be. My Rafa is who you are, God. It's who you are, God. And who you are is who you always be. Hallelujah. My Elohim is who you are. It's who you are. I am who you are. And it's who you always be, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. My Kodesh. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. Hashem. It's who you are, God. It's who you are. It's who you are, Jesus. It's who you are, God. It's who you are. Jesus, 
Jehovah Gibbon is who you are, who you are, who fights for me. I don't have to lift a finger. Jehovah Gibbon is who you are, is who you are, is who you are. And who you are is who you always be. It's who you always be. It's who you always be, God. I don't have to worry. I don't have to be afraid because we serve a God who has the angels' armies ready to dispatch at any time. Any of his children gets in trouble. The angels are right there, round about, round about, round about, round about. I don't have to worry. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to worry. I don't have to be afraid. Sit down, your angels, right now in the name of Jesus, God. And camp around this place, oh God. We're going higher in you, Jesus. We're going higher in you, Jesus. Open up the windows of heaven, God. Open up the windows of heaven. Pour out your blessing, God. Open up your window, God. Open up your window. Open up your window, God. We're going higher in you. We're going higher in you. We're going higher in you, God. We're going higher in you, Jesus. We're going higher, 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 higher. God, who you are, Jesus. Hallelujah. Aerial views. Hallelujah, Jesus. Send down your glory in this place, Jesus. Send it down, send it down, send it down. Send it down, Jesus. Send down your glory. Send down your glory, Jesus. Send down your glory, Jesus. Send down your glory, Jesus. Send it down. Send it down, Jesus. Send it down, Jesus. Send down your glory, Jesus. Send it down, Jesus. Send down your glory, Jesus. Send down your glory, Jesus. Send it down, send it down, Jesus. We want to feel you, Jesus. We want to touch you, Jesus. We want to feel you breathe on us, Jesus. Send it down, send it down, send it down. Send it down, send it down, Jesus. Rida na 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 shebre bebe him, ha na 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 shebe him. Send it down, send it down, send it down, Jesus. Send down your glory, Jesus. Rida na 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 shebre, si na 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 kedere him. As sweat dripped from Jesus' face as he prayed in the garden. Rida na 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 she, we wanna press in like that, oh God. Ha na 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 shebre bebe him. It don't matter what we got on or what we look like, oh God. We we want to press in your presence, oh God. Press in your presence, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God, we need you, Jesus. 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 God, we need you. God, we need you. We need you. We need you, Jesus. Rina na na chebe, na 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 chebe, rina na na se, rina na na se. God, we give you the glory. God, we bow down at your feet, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you the glory, Jesus. God, we give you the glory, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you the glory, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your 
presence, there's fullness of joy. In your presence, there's healing and miracles. Hallelujah. Every need is met in your presence, Jesus. We can sit and just bask in your presence for one minute, God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 God, God, we bless you. Genesis chapter 29. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 29, verse The Bible says this. The Bible says, now the Lord saw that Leah, somebody say Leah, was unloved, and he opened her womb. Somebody say, but Rachel was barren. Leah conceived and bore a son and named him Reuben. For she said, because the Lord had seen my affliction, surely, somebody say surely, now my husband will love me. Then she conceived again and bore a son and said, because the Lord has heard that I am unloved, he has therefore given me this son also. She named him Simeon. She conceived again. Somebody say again. And bore a son and said, now this time, my husband will become attached to me because I have borne him three sons. Therefore, his name was, somebody say Levi. 
Watch this. And she conceived again and bore a son and said, this time, somebody say this time. Say it like you mean it. Say this time. I will praise the Lord. Therefore, she named him Judah. Then she stopped bearing. Father, we thank you. And we give you praise, glory, and honor for this, your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this time. Tell him, this time I'll do it right. Find another neighbor and say, this time I'll do it right. Woo. Somebody say, thank God for a fourth and fifth chance to get it right. It's for some of us, it's a 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th chance. But this time, I will get it right. Here in the text, we're dealing with a guy by the name of Jacob. And you got to understand that Jacob was a son of promise. Jacob was a son of promise, but you also must understand that Jacob here is also in the place that he's in because he stole his brother's birthright. Somebody say interesting. He stole his brother's birthright. And when he stole his brother's birthright because his brother desired to kill him, after the fact, his father told him, you have to go to another place. You have to go to another place. Now, in the process of going to another place, watch this. I love this part. This is what blesses me every time. Even though he had to go to another place because of his mistakes, um, um, God still was with him even though he was going to a new place because of a current mistake. Y'all, it's all right. Y'all go act like it. It's all right. So Jacob here now, it has to go to a new place outside of the promised land. You know, the very land that God promised to the people, Jacob has to leave it because his father says to him, Ronis, he says, you cannot marry the daughters of the promise. Because of what you've done, you can't do it. Now, some of us have been counted out because of our mistakes. We have been counted out because of our situations. But God says, even though I had to move you, my hand is still on your life. Oh, God, I feel a good preach. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God's hand is still on my life. Tell him, don't count me out too fast. Tell him, don't count me out too fast. His hand is still on my life. So Jacob now has to go from the place of promise and go to another place so that he can get himself a wife. Somebody say a wife. Because in order for him to fulfill his destiny, he needs a wife so that he can start family. So when he gets to... And the church said amen. <laughs> but in order for him to fulfill destiny, he has to get a wife even though he's, he's, he's on the, let me put it this way. Even though he's on the run, he still has to fulfill. Oh, this is a good preach and I ain't even got to the text. You know, even though he's on the run, he still has to fulfill the plan God has for his life. You know, I can always tell when the devil is talking to us because things get a little crazy. And the first thing we say is, I don't want to preach no more. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't got to talk. You know, all of a sudden things get a little chaotic in your life. And the first thing come out of your mouth is, I ain't going to church anymore. Don't we recognize that this is the devil? And the devil is trying to keep you from fulfilling purpose? The devil, you think you're making these feelings up. The same way God can plant thoughts on you, it's the enemy trying to keep you from fulfilling your destiny. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I still got to fulfill my destiny you dirty and you're a mess but you still gotta fulfill your destiny you're you're not right and you know what you did but you still gotta fulfill somebody shout destiny you still got to fulfill destiny you still got to fulfill destiny you still got to fulfill 
destiny. So he gets there, and when he gets there, watch this. It's, isn't it amazing that when he gets there, he, he sees a fine little something at the well. Woo! Sees a fine little something at the well. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is revelation. Some of us can't get what we need because we won't stay at the well long enough to receive it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of us can't get promises because we, will, we refuse to stay in God's presence long enough to receive. I'm trying to help y'all. Y'all thought I was about to go somewhere carnal. Come on up. Watch it. Some of us can't get what we're supposed to get because we won't stay at the well. We won't stay in the presence of God. We won't pray long enough to get a word from God. So instead of getting the word, we get excited and we tap out too soon. Tap out too soon. And because we tap out too soon, we walk away from a place that you should have been in to get the blessing that God promised you even though you was out of order. Yee. So she walks up and he deals with her. And he calls her out and he begins to say who he is. Because he reveals who he is, she gets excited because she realized that this was one of her kinfolk. She realized this was somebody that she that she was related to. It was somebody that she was potentially destined to know. But watch this. In the process of all of this, remember, he's on the run because of what he did wrong. But the grace of God is still on his life. And the grace of God is still putting him in a place so that he can fulfill destiny because it's not about him. Hello, church. It's not about him, but it's about those coming after him. And I know you, you've been running from destiny, but let me tell you, anywhere it go, you're going to run into God's destiny, but the position you're in when you get there is up to you. Uh, you know, I don't care if you're sick on your deathbed, you still go reach destiny. You know, you can be jacked up, messed up, but you still look at your neighbor and say, I'm still going to reach my destiny. Why? Because somebody else needs to hear my testimony. Why? Because somebody else needs to get this breakthrough. Why? Because somebody else needs to get what I get. But watch this. He falls in love with her. But when he falls in love with her, he goes to her father. And he says, give me her. And the father says, you worked for me seven years. She's yours. And because he was so in love, this is why sometimes I question when we say we're in love because we're not willing to wait for nothing. Mm -hmm. We're not willing to wait for nothing. We're, we're getting married now just so we can avoid having sex before marriage. Why? Because we're not willing to wait for, we're not willing to wait for that agape love. We want that what? That eros. And eros is a Greek word. Eros is a Greek word for a sexual love. So we're driven by the sexual love rather than being driven by the agape love because when I desire you with the right love, I'm willing to wait to the right time. Agape mixed with kairos is dangerous because it'll put you in a place. <laughs> that you've been yearning for. So he says, if you want her, Ronnie, guess what he says? He says, if you want her, you got to work seven years. And you got to understand that he came from a place of promise. So he ain't used to being nobody's slave. He came from a place of promise. He was living in Canaan. He was living where we trying to get. So when he came out, not only did God put him out of the place of promise, but while he was there, he says, what you want and what you need to have fulfilled, he said, you got to be willing to work for it, which means you got to be willing to lower your standards. You got to be willing to be something that you wasn't somewhere else you know you know what's wrong with some of us we want to come from one church join another one and still be the pastor but you're not willing to serve for the place God has for you pay 
stage when I stopped the church the first time, church. When I stopped it and everybody kept saying, you going to go over there and be the pastor at Bread from Heaven and you going to be his co-pastor? I said, no, that ain't my desire because it ain't God's desire. But my desire is to go over there and say, how may I serve? People said, That's, you've been littling yourself. I said, God told me to go serve. He didn't tell me to go pastor. Some of us is missing it because we are not willing to serve for it. Whew. You talking about you want to be a leader and you want to be a pastor, but you ain't serving in the positions that you're in now because you feel you're better than that. But Jacob, is willing to serve for her for seven years. That's a long time. But the Bible says that it didn't even seem that long because he was so much in love. And you ever wonder, you ever want to measure your love for God? You can measure your love by God from God is by how long you can endure the trial until he deals with you. You know what I learned? When I go through with God, yes, it hurts, but it gives me victory because I know he's going to bring me out. I ain't got no church. Y'all all right? Watch what he says here now. So the Bible says that he worked for her seven years. And because of tradition and because of culture, he was not allowed to see her, Kivon. He couldn't see her. Even during the wedding day, he could not see her. Even during that time, he could not see her because she was covered from head to the toe. And you know, our culture don't tell us that. Our culture say, reveal everything, and then maybe they'll want to marry you. Y'all ain't going to talk to me because that's our culture. And in our culture in America, it done crept in the church because we're naked in the church and out the church. Not only are the women naked, but we naked too. I thought my shirts was a little fitted till I went to some services. I said, is those his ribs? I said, that ain't no ab, that's a rib. I said, clearly they ain't getting along at home. He ain't eating. But the problem is we're not willing to wait for nothing anymore. So now we got to show off. But she was covered from their head to her toe, even to the point that on the night when they should have known each other, he didn't even know who she was. So the father says to her, he, he, they get married, and when it's time to get to know him, when the time of the getting to know happens, watch this. The Bible says that he didn't get Rachel, the one he loved. But he got Leah, the one who was tender eyed. There was something wrong with her eyes. He got the other sister. But let me tell you, you can't count her out because clearly while they was get to know him, he ain't had no issue. We always talking about her being tender eyed, but clearly she was knowing worthy. She was worth the knowing. So the next day, he realizes he didn't get the one he was in love with. And this is why you got to be careful. Because you think love is a feeling. <laughs> he didn't even recognize that that wasn't her. Because he thought he didn't. Re mm. Love ain't no feeling. Because if it was, something about the love on the inside would have said, this ain't the one. So I got an issue with not just the text, but I got an issue with what's going on. So now I got Jacob with the wrong woman. But Leah Jordan, for whatever reason, decided she would go into knowing. Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. So somewhere in the text that ain't there, her father says to her, he says to Leah and Rachel, he says, Rachel, I know he worked for you, but you don't get him. 
Leah, you get him. So somewhere in here, they conspired together. But because of culture, even if they wanted to do it, they had to listen to their father. <laughs> but we don't know if they were okay with it. Or they did it out of respect to their father. So Jacob now, watch this. Remember, remember this. Jacob is on the run because of how he did his brother. But he's still in promise. Right? He's still in grace. But now he is being manipulated. Thank you, baby. He's being manipulated. And he want to go to the father and say, I can't understand. Why would you manipulate me? Why would you do this? How could you dare do this to me? And I want to remind the Jacobs in the building, the same way you manipulated your brother is the same way you just got manipulated. You thought you was running from what you sown. God said you still going to reap it. But I'm going to give you grace to go through it. Last chapter, he manipulated his brother. This chapter, now he's getting manipulated. Let me, won't that morning come around? That's why you got to get out of God's business. Let God handle folk that do you wrong. And he looked like he was doing real good, but he was struggling. So because he was so in love with Rachel, somebody said, oh my. Now he's married to her sister. This messed up. He's married to her sister. And the father says, you know, it's our custom. But instead of fighting, he says, okay, I'm willing to work another seven years to get the woman that I love. And I'm almost in my text. He says, I get to get her, and I'm willing to do it again. I'm willing to fight again. Even though things are bad and I feel mistreated, I'm willing to fight again. So God says, no, no, no. So the father says, okay, work for me seven years. And he do so. But now clearly there's a problem. Because now you got a woman that's married to Jacob. And clearly she loves him. But he don't want her. And I want to talk to the people here that tonight, and this is for everybody, I want to talk to somebody here tonight to where you always feel like you're the second best. Yeah, I ain't going to talk to me. I'm the only, maybe I'm the only. It's just me, Lord. I'm the only one. You know, I want to talk to somebody that feel like, you know, you always got them first, but somebody else would come along and you would lose them and then they would only call you when they wasn't available. You only got that good morning text when somebody else didn't respond, you know. You know, can I talk? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't say nothing to him. I can't say what came to my head. Whew. But I want to talk to you tonight and watch what happens here. Leah now, he gets Rachel. But in the process of getting Rachel, get to our text here. In the process of getting Rachel, Watch this. Yeah. In the process of getting, oh, oh, the Lord's going to do that, huh? Well, okay, we're not using this tonight because it's not moving. So in the process of getting, giving it the benefit of the doubt. In the process of getting Rachel what, and, and all of that, watch this. Uh, Leah now feels second best because he never wanted her to begin with. He never wanted her to begin with, but she stuck with him because she married to him. She stuck with him because she married to him. This is why you got to be careful who you become in covenant with. Because some of us are just stuck to folk because of covenant. Not because of love and not because God ordained it. But we're stuck with them because of covenant. And I'm declaring that by the grace of God. That God is going to destroy every covenant. That does not have his hand on it. So that I can be free. Slap your neighbor. I five and say neighbor. 
neighbor say the covenant got to be destroyed so she stuck with him because of covenant because of covenant Woo. page it don't work but it's up it just don't work so watch this so the bible says the lord saw leah somebody say he saw her he saw that she was unloved but watch what he does let me tell you and here's the word of the lord to you tonight he saw her because she was unloved. Can I tell you, your bad predicament actually puts you in a place for God to see you when he needed to see you. Yeah, y'all ain't gonna talk. Hi, ya, ya. Woo! You thought your bad predicament was actually putting you away from God because of what everybody else was saying. But your dilemma and your situation actually put you in the right predicament so that you can be blessed by the Lord. You're, 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 you're look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say my bad situation brought me right before God. Tell them most folk thought I was gone and they thought it was over. But I'm so glad that I got a God that when other folk dog me out, God said I still got my eyes eyes on you so the bible says because she was unloved not because she was loved but because she was unloved the bible says that the lord opened her womb he opened her womb he opened her womb he opened her womb he didn't open the womb of the one that jacob was in love with but he opened up the womb the one he didn't love because god loved her anyhow This is blessing me. I feel like I'm on ice and skating around this church. Watch. So the Bible says that when God opened her room, the Bible says that Leah conceived and bore him a son by the name of Reuben. Somebody say Reuben. For she said, because the Lord has seen my affliction, surely now my husband will love me. Now, you got to understand that, yes, God has his hand on her life and God opened her womb. But her mindset is still. You ever met somebody that was so favored, but they wasn't. You ever met somebody so anointed, but they. You got all this oil and you touched. You got all this and sometimes I wonder. I said, Lord, I say the called folk is some of the most craziest folk I ever met in my life. Anybody else? Y'all know me, right? Look at Ronnie's like, look at yourself in the mirror, man. <laughs> Hear me something was off because when God blessed her she took what God blessed her with and she was too busy trying to get the attention of a man to love her how do we use God's blessings to get the attention of other folk Is it, don't we see this in church all the time you done got a gig and now you up there playing not to the glory of God but you playing so you can get another gig and you trying to make ends meet and God said if you would surely just yield your gift and yield what I gave to you he said surely I can provide you another don't we see it all the time when folk get up here to preach and they're not preaching so somebody can get blessed but they preach it because they want to prove I got a hoop yeah I got the best hoop in the city yeah I can do it better than them yeah you know but they're not preaching because they need somebody free because we want to show off gifts so we can get another invite you attention seekers and we keep calling them back just because some folk are coming see them but I declare that the anointed shall rise up in this time of chaos and destroy yokes. Whew. Somebody say, let the anointed rise. And then watch this, just like God, even though she ain't right, he let her conceive again. Ain't that just like God? Because I would have got to be like, wait a minute. What I really would have said, and I get this from my grandma, I'd be like, wait, well, hold up, heifer. It's my grandma's favorite word right there, helper. She called everybody helper. For a long time, I didn't even know what a helper was until I read the Bible and God called Israel a backsliding helper. I said, now wait a minute. That's in the Bible? 
call them backsliding heifers. Watch this. So he let her conceive again. And she conceived again and watched as she bore a son and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am unloved. He has therefore given me a son also, so his name shall be Simeon. So God is blessing her, but she's still yielding her blessing to satisfy her feelings. Woo! To satisfy her feelings, she is neglecting the one that gave her the gift. So that her husband can love her. Isn't it crazy? Why are we going out to folk that don't love us but love somebody else? That's a constant problem. We always want the person that don't want us. We always want the person that keep hurting us all the time. And I kept telling myself, why do you keep going back in that relationship? She don't want you. Clearly she don't. She don't call you. She don't email you. She don't talk to you. But when you look on Facebook, they talking to other folk. Hello, church. Uh, you know, why we keep running to them? Somebody said, get your head out of the clouds. We running. We want everybody that don't want us. Yeah. Then the Bible says that she conceived again and bore him a son. God still blessing her. He's still, isn't it just like God to keep blessing you just so you can get it right? Oh, I ain't got no real people in here. God kept on blessing you just so he can get your attention so that you can get this thing right. You kept saying, why do I keep getting put in this predicament? And God said, I'm going to keep blessing you. You know, he could just go ahead and send your tail to hell now. But he says, instead of sending you to hell, I'm going to keep letting you come around so you can get it right. Watch this. The Bible says, so she conceived again and bore a son. And this time, she said, my husband will become attached to me. Daughter, he ain't yours. Whoo. Daughter, he ain't yours. And so she named him Levi because she wanted her husband attached to her. Through all of this issue and through all of this trial and through all of this tribulation, you've got to remember she's trying to get the attention of a man who is actually on the run, who is actually in, and it's almost like he in disobedience, but he in obedience, you know, because God's still great grace in his life. She's after somebody. That is on the run and he's in love with somebody else. Nobody else yeah. Yeah. And the Bible says, somebody said the Bible says. Whew. Look at your neighbor and say, we go get this right. And the Bible said that she conceived again. Somebody shout, he's giving me another chance. You've been through hell and high water. You've been through everything. It's been messed up, jacked up. Things been good. Things been right. You've moved. You've been homeless. You've had a house. You've done everything that you can think of. And God sent me all the way here tonight to tell somebody that I'm about to give you another chance to get this thing right. You know, you've tried everything. You've been here. You've been there. But God wants me to remind you that he's about to give you a chance to get everything right what you missed before God says I know everybody else gave up on you he says but I won't give up on you slap your neighbor a high five and say neighbor say God's gonna let me get this thing right he's gonna let me get this thing right uh, he loves me enough not to let me die the way I am but God's gonna let me get this thing right somebody shout God I'm ready 
So the Bible says that she conceived again. That she conceived again and again and she bore him a son. And the Bible says that this time she made a choice that this time I know what I did on the last time. I know what I did before. And let me tell you don't get discouraged when people come up to you and say did you not bear a child before and you was doing this to get the attention of a man or you was doing this to get the attention of a woman can I give you a response to them you ought to tell them yes that's who I was before but on this time I done got myself together I ain't got no church in here oh, this time I done got my life together so I'm going to make a different choice I feel like preaching now y'all excuse me tonight I'm preaching to myself and prophesying to myself but I'm so glad that God has given me another chance uh, so that I can get this thing right uh, so the Bible says that this time uh, this time she made a choice uh, she said this time I will praise God uh, I will give God glory for the things that he's done uh, so instead of naming this child uh, after somebody that don't want me uh, instead of naming this child uh, to get the attention of somebody else uh, I'm going to name this child Judah because I'm going to give God a praise because of the things that he's done. Slap your neighbor a high five. Uh, Jordan, I'm sorry I'm churchy tonight. Slap your neighbor a high five and say, neighbor, say, God's given me another chance. And this time I'm going to give God a praise because I know he's working on me. I feel like preaching now. I'm so glad that God has given me another chance that I can give him the glory despite what I've been through, despite how hard it's been, that God has given me another chance to give him the honor and the praise. I'm here to tell the Lord I did it wrong on yesterday, but this time I'm going to get it right, God. This time, God, I'm going to get it right, Lord. Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, I'm going to get it right this time. Say, I'm going to get it right this time. And the Bible says, therefore, she named him. I've been wanting to get this preach out for a long time now. And the Bible says that on this time, she named him Judah. And then she stopped bearing. God said, I've given you so much blessing. You got to walk in what I gave you. Push on your neighbor and say, neighbor, he's blessed me over. And he's blessed me over. That if God don't give me another thing, I'll be all able to live on what God did. Push on your neighbor and say, neighbor, tell him I may have been second best, but God bless my womb. God allowed me to give birth when nobody else did. What you got to understand is that while Leah was giving birth, Rachel was somewhere barren. Ain't no Leah's life. You ought to tell your haters, I know you counted me out, but I'm still blessed. Blessed. I'm still delivered. I'm still in my right mind. I wish I had a church that can say, I know I wasn't your choice, but I was the choice of the Lord. And I'm so no blessed. I'm so no delivered. Push on your neighbor and say, neighbor, tell them they didn't choose you, but God's got a plan for you. God's got a plan for your life. God said, I'm about to open your womb. I need about five women in here and five brothers to shout, God, it's about to open my womb. And I'm about to produce my business. I'm about to produce my car. I'm about to produce it. Why? Because God said, my time is now. What you got to understand is that God sees you cry and God said I'm about to do something and it's about to be big it's about to be good but you got to hang in there you can't give up 
early. You can't give up too soon because the Lord push your neighbor and say the Lord is doing something and I still got my joy. I still got my deliverance. I still got my peace. The Bible says that now the Lord saw that Leah was unloved. God said, I'm about to bring something into the earth that the sons and daughters that men counted out. God said, I'm about to raise them so that they can do my will. When Samuel came looking for the king, his father put everybody out there and said, surely he's got to be the king. But God said, I'm not after him. I don't want him. But I want the one that's in the field that knows my heart, that knows my heart. Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, say, God's looking for me. God's looking for me. And it's my time now. God's looking for me. And it's my time now. God's looking for me. I'm sorry, baby. He ain't looking for you. But God's looking for me. He's looking for somebody that'll give him glory to the trial. He's looking for somebody that can go after his heart. He's looking for somebody that'll do his will. He's looking for somebody that can be his example. He's looking for somebody with a heart like he is. With a heart like he is. With a heart like he is. God is looking for somebody. I dare somebody to lift up your voice and say, here I am, God. Use me, Lord. Here I am, God. Here I am, God. Here I am, God. Here I am, God. Jacob didn't choose me, but here I am, God. Somebody give God a praise right there. I dare somebody to give God a this time praise. I dare somebody to say, God, this time, I'm going to give you the glory. This time. I messed up last time, but this time I'm going to give you the praise. I did wrong the last time, but this time I'm going to give you the honor. I did wrong last time, but this time I'll give you the praise. Somebody push your neighbor and say, it's time to deliver Judah. It's time to de deliver Judah. It's time to deliver Judah. Somebody say, it's a time to give God praise. Reban siketelebe, setelebe la pandi ketelebe, la pandi ketelebe la papa, siketelebe na mananan siketo, shalava na mananan siketelebe. God, we fall into porn. God, we fall into lust. God, we fall into gossip. God, we fall into ignorant things. But this time, we shall birth the praise. This time, we shall birth the praise. God, we fall into sleeping around. God, we fall in. But this time, push your neighbor and say, this time, this time. Y'all sitting there too still for me. I wish I had somebody uh, that can say I'm going to praise God right now just because uh, I get a second chance. This time, this time, uh, this time, this time, uh, this time, this time, uh, this time, this time, God, 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 uh, I know I did you wrong. But this time, I got a praise for you. I 
got to worship for you. This I am God. This I am God. Somebody shout. This time, this time, this time. Last time you were trying to get somebody's attention. But the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of Israel and praises calmly for the upright. I wish I had somebody that could say, God, here's my praise. I will not fall to the same traps and snares. I will not fall to the same temptation. I will not fall to the same distress. But I will. I will. I will. Gotta pray. I know what my sister did. I know what my brother did. But I am. I am the call of God. So I got a reason to give God a shout. I've got a reason to give God a dance. I've got a reason to clap my hands. I got a reason to jump for joy. I got a reason to shout out to God because he never left me nor forsake me. I got a reason. Go grab somebody and say it's time for a praise. Tell them it's time for a dance. It's time for a clap. It's time for a run. It's time to magnify him.
she bore Jacob no children she became jealous she became jealous of her sister you sitting around there being jealous of other folk and what you don't understand is you got stuff folk wish they could have I ain't got no real church in here you sitting around wanting what other folk got and you don't even recognize that them same folk looking at you and said, I wish I was anointed like that. I wish I had what they had. I dare you to give God a praise because God has taken you from a place where you were jealous to the folk that treated you wrong. They're jealous of the grace on your life. jealous of me just join me you ain't got to be jealous of what we're doing over here just get your butt over here why are you jealous that we got two services that's just more work come over here and just help out said something to me yesterday. He said, let me stop. He said, he said, I said, I don't understand why I'm here. I'm not entering into competitions. But you got me working as hard as these, these girls and these guys who are out doing competitions. I said, I don't understand why I'm paying you to 
put me in this much pain. I said it don't make sense. His response to me. Sometimes he prophetic. I can't tell him though. Because he keep be wanting to raise offerings in the gym. Watch. But he said to me, he says, well, first of all, in order for you to understand why you're here, now, he said, you got to go back and revisit why you started here. <laughs> some of us are in some positions just like Leah. And you got to go back and revisit why you're there. So that you can uproot that thing so everything else after that can be destroyed. Then he said this to me. He says, as I was working out, and the other trainer was there, and they began to make fun of me. They said, he looked like he's trying to get built or something. And I was like, well. <laughs> I said, God gets all the glory. I said, God used you to train me. And we laughed. But then I said to him, I said, but I'm not in competition with anybody. Nobody. And he said, but I need you to keep pushing. And I looked at him and I said, why? He said, because there's other people competing with you. And I need them to get better. You think you just going through just so you can go through? And God is saying, I need you to endure this because somebody else is looking at you. So all the Leah's out there, he says, I need you to continue through. Because while you just think you're doing your own thing, God said, I got somebody else watching. And they're competing with you not to come after you. But they're competing with you so that they can get better. don't have to stay where you are but what you have to do is keep going forward <clears throat> she kept having babies until God shut her womb up Yee. and let me tell you her sister was chosen and yes her sister eventually bore, what was it, two children. Joseph and what was his brother named Benjamin? I think it was Benjamin. She bore two children. Out of the what, 12? She bore two. The, the sister with the promise. Now, we could, I could do a whole message concerning Rachel. And it will bless us tremendously. But what we got to understand is that God will use people who are second best because this. She gave birth to who? Somebody say Judah. And through the lineage of Judah, who do we get? Y'all ain't know. Y'all ain't know. <laughs> Leah was second best. But through Leah, we got the greatest lineage there is. That's the one that Jesus came through. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, this thing is bigger than your tail. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than you. We got Jesus through Leah. And she was ugly. Well, oh God. But clearly she was all right. Because he kept knowing her. Out of 12, he had 10 with her. You too busy looking at your face and thinking it's about your face. But God said, no, it's about the oil that I got on your life. You ain't got to be the greatest. God said to me on the way here, 
I said, God, why would you put me in this predicament? I don't have the best this. I'm not the best that. I'm not the best this. He said, because I'm not after the best, but I'm after those whom I call and they answer. Quit beating yourself up because you don't feel up to par. What God expects is that you answer his call. That's what he expects. And when you do that, you'll keep getting pregnant. Y'all ain't catching it. Y'all ain't catching it. And I know the brother's like, wait a minute, we'll do pregnant. No, no, no. God will keep putting stuff in you so that when you get birth, when you come, when you come out with it, it'll bless your life. Some of y'all sitting on some gifts right now. How many more times we got to tell you, let's get this car wash business together? That's a womb. You see, I'm looking at y'all. <laughs> How many more times I got to, we, we got a few guests, but you all right. We love you. God bless you. We love you too, but you about to hear this tonight. God bless you, sir. Yeah, we're going to hear this. How many more times I got to tell you to make this album? Your behind been pregnant for 15 years. Tell somebody it's time to get birth. It's time to get birth. If you keep a child past nine months, it is instead of blessing you, it'll start ruining you. Because it'll start eating away at stuff that you. You keep that baby too long, eventually it will torture you. <laughs> she said he's already torturing me. Because he got to come out. His destiny is not to stay inside you. But his destiny is to come up out of you. That place in you was only for an appointed time. Nine months. Done. For some of us, six and seven. Heaven was kind enough to be pregnant and give you a seed and you sit on it. Hear what I'm saying to us, church. I will no longer accept you being full and pregnant and sitting on it. If I got to throw your behind down the stairs to get you to go in labor. Pastor, 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 pastor. Now this is coming from your pastor. Because some of y'all crazy. You need some extreme measures. You, you ready yet? You don't got past the, ooh, you're pregnant stage. You don't got past that. It was cute when you first was doing it. Now we like, when you gonna get an LLC? Come on. Now you're making money off your business, but you ain't putting nothing in another account. Hear me when I say. <laughs> How long you gonna stay at a place because you're 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 content? I'm coming down your road tonight. I'm going to stay and talk to you just so I don't look at nobody over there. How long are you going to stay in the place? Because some of us can't give birth because the place we're in is not sterile enough. So God said, I'm going to hold that thing in you. <laughs> because if you give birth right there where you are, it might get infected. But he says, as long as I got to hold it, I'm going to make you uncomfortable. Because what's in you has outgrown you now. It's I'm about to say something. Y'all go judge me and I don't care. But you go get my point. The Twilight series. Three good, four good movies to me. Don't judge me. 
But in the third one, she was pregnant with a vampire baby. But watch. It was in her so long that it had started to eat her up. That when she should have been getting bigger, she was getting smaller. Because she was dying. Because what was in her needed blood, so it was eating away at her. I said, how in the world he going to use that? Because I need you to understand. What's in you is going to eat you until you give it what it needs. So we're walking around alive, but we're dying. Because you know you should be preaching, but you won't study. You're dying. You know you should be leading, but you're still a clown. You're dying. You know you should be praying. But you want to sit up playing PlayStation all night. You know you should be writing proposals. But you're still trying to write love notes. Come on. It's time to go. I'm sick of preaching about the promised land. And some of y'all just looking at it. I will not be Moses and miss it because y'all want to play. But you understand that you can't walk over the Jordan into the promised land pregnant because you won't make it. You won't make it. Because what if you give give birth in a place that cannot hold what you got? I want to wait till Canaan. No, get it now. So that when we get to Canaan, we can spend time rejoicing and not playing around with you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, <clears throat> it's time to give birth. It's time to get that business in order. It's time to start making your dishes, you know, making your famous recipes and all that kind of stuff. And let's get this stuff packed. You hear what I'm saying to you? Look at somebody and say, it's time now. No, you're not adequate, but the God in you called you. No, you're not as good as everybody else. You might not have the best little Patty LaBelle pie, but you're going to have the pie that God gave you, and he going to bless it because he gave it to you. That's what, and let me tell you, I'm going to prophesy this and we're done. Everybody stand up, then we can go home. We're going to have the offering, then we'll go home. Stand up, we're going home. But I'm going to prophesy this to you. You're about to see musically in the kingdom of an uprising of artists who are not that talented. Because God said, I am vexed because the ones that I've given it to won't do it. And they won't live a clean life for me. So there's about to be an uprising. We're gonna start listening to music like they, they was fat the whole time. But they were willing and they're gonna sell because they're anointed. I wanna bring Judy Jacobs here. Daughter can't sing though. But she got straight oil. And she's been singing the same song for 30 years. When you can sing the same song for 30 years and we still come and see it, that's amazing. The same song. God said there's going to be an uprising. And he said, for some of us, you're going to know the conviction that you're not doing what you're supposed to do because the spirit of jealousy is going to hit your life. God says, I'm going to take that spirit of jealousy and I'm going to use it to put you in position so that you can do what you're called to do. And Father, we thank you.
praise. Maybe you're here tonight, you said, I'm not saved. That's you, and you have not accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. Because he saved you from your sins. He's already done it for you. Now you just need to accept him as your Lord. That's you, you can do that now. And you're saying, I just need somebody to pray for me. Just lift your hands. Woo. Just lift your hands. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name. Somebody say, thank God. And amen. Woo. Come on, get your offerings out. Let's have an offering and we can go home. Can we give God praise for Pam being with us tonight? Amazing. Somebody say amazing. Woo. God says because of your heart, he's going to replace some big name artists in arenas with you. And God says that when it happens, he won't let them, he won't let them jip you. He'll give you what they was going to give to somebody else. Hear me when I say, he says, I'm going to replace them. And I keep seeing this, and y'all can take it as you want it. But I keep seeing Kimberell on the flyer. But then I keep seeing God moving her so that you can have the assignment. Because we all love her. But because God says, I want you there. And I want to bless you there. He said, I'm going to start moving people. They're going to start canceling whatever it is. And God says, all of a sudden, somebody's going to find your name. And he says, I'll do it. He said, because this is my child. And she'll give me all glory. And because you give him the glory, he said he'll give you the reward of the blessing. Isn't that crazy that you'll give God glory and he'll let you reap the finances for it? Sheesh. That's amazing. So get your offerings in the air. Come on, stand up, church. Uh, Lindsay, can I have my wallet? Come on, if you can get as close to a $20 seat as you can. If I can just get 10 of y'all to join me in giving a $20 seat. Give us a twenty dollar seed tonight. Be great. If you're gonna swipe, you can go back to the kiosk. If you're gonna give in the basket, you can give in the basket. If you're going to write a check, you can write it out to the Revival Center at Cincinnati. Amen. Ten people. Give a twenty dollar seed. Who's gonna join me tonight? Raise your hand. Who's gonna join me tonight? can swipe in the back, or you can do here, or you can swipe in the back. Whew. You can come from wherever you are if you're going to give. If 
Father, we thank you. For we know this seed will be in harvest and it will come back to us. In Jesus' name. We're back here tomorrow at noon. Invite somebody. And then we'll have our first Sunday service at our other location, Sunday at 3 p.m. Sweet Jesus. You talking about doing something just off of what God said. My God. All right, we're standing. We're going home. Father, we thank you now. We give you glory and honor. So as we leave this place, we're not your presence. Allow your presence to be with us. Allow no hurt, harm, or danger to come to us. Father, rebuke the thief and the robber. Let your angels be with us as we drive to our various desti destinations. Keep away the wayward vehicles right now, God. And we say thank you for it in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen.